All right, what is going on guys? Since I've been making a bunch of content related to this X3 bar type setup or using a foot plate, some bands in a bar, I have a whole playlist, I'll link it above if you guys are curious. I get a lot of questions of people saying, is there something cheaper? The Harambe price and the X3 price bar is just outrageous. I'm not gonna pay that. And so even though I've already given you guys some cheaper alternatives, I had an Amazon store with a bunch of those things kind of set up and I'll link it down below so you can find all this information I'm saying. I thought I might as well make one standalone video to kind of help you guys out. But more importantly, if you guys have specific, specific recommendations and things you guys wanna recommend, that I'm not aware of, I'm sure there's a lot of things that are out there you could do. Drop them down in the comment section, either now or later, to kind of help me and everybody else out. I do think it's worth just defending a little bit the question that always comes up when people talk about X3 and also Harambe, that people say they're just crazy overpriced, they're not worth it. Granted, I'm not just saying that because I'm an affiliate of X3 and Harambe. If you guys are curious though, discount codes are down below. What I will say is that when you kind of go and start using this type of system and this setup, the difference in the quality is definitely there. If you guys were to price out the bands based on the length tensions and the stuff they're kind of giving off, you're going to looking at over $100. I had a whole video talking about that. Uh, also, if you start factoring in like foot plates are kind of hard and kind of cumbersome to find good dimensions and good foot plates, that can be an issue. And really just the overall bar quality. I like this thing enough and so much that I opted to even pay full price for this, the long bar, which I thought was really cool. So it really comes down to your personal preference and your interest, just like a regular barbell. And I think even that guy from like Garage Gym Reviews, he did a whole comparison of Harambe and X3. And he said the same thing. He said, basically, you know, for the quality of what you're getting, you're not really overpaying that much. And when you do start talking about quality, we'll get into one cheap bar here in a second, the Instar bar, very popular resistance band bar on Amazon. I've used this thing a decent amount, but not a whole crazy amount. And this thing is like $50, but you can see, I'll give you guys an up close shot of this. It looks like it's been through the ringer. It's just kind of rusted and frayed and started chipping really quickly. And I'm just showing you guys that really, yeah, this thing costs, it's cheap, it's 50 bucks, but imagine what this thing, probably the true cost of this thing is to be produced overseas in China. It's probably a lot more minimal. So for, take whatever it's worth, guys. I like buying cheap stuff just as much as the next person. So it really just picking and choosing if you're really gonna use these things and you really are into them, it might be worth upping and getting a more high quality item. With all that being said though, let's jump into some of those recommendations. So when you start talking like resistance band recommendations, you wanna find something that's comparable to say like the Rogue bands or high quality loop style bands like the X3 bands. I did a whole video talking about the differences between that. There are some good options on Amazon. The two big companies I recommend would be uh, Rubber Bandits, which has a lifetime warranty on their bands, which is, in my opinion is kind of crazy. Their five band set, which is sometimes hard to navigate. Again, it's in that store down below and also in the description box. Uh, that's a good deal for 119. I love the way those bands feel. I have them. I just started like storing all my bands on the basement without having clearing up some space here. But those bands are awesome. I have their black, their purple, and their green ones. Those are great bands. Uh, again, lifetime warranty. You really can't really beat that. I would say the downside is their strongest band might not be as strong as like the X3 band though. Another comparable company that is a uh, serious steel. I love them as well, but I'd probably say, and this, I hate to kind of say this, but shameless plug, if you guys go to their website, it's actually cheaper to buy it there with my discount code SBT if you guys are looking for that. So just kind of consider that. But with that being said, if you're looking for like the cheapest loop style resistance band set that definitely is lower in quality and for sure lower in tension, that would be the Sunpal band set. I do own these. I just literally gave these away to my uh, brother-in-law over the weekend actually. So just kind of clear out some house. So those are decent but they're definitely not up to the same quality. Their highest purple band is not nearly as strong as like the second to strongest gray and comparable to the X3. But still, you can double loop them, so you can always make them a little stronger that way. But again, if you're just dipping your feet in the water, this might be the way to go. Now we start talking like barbells. The reason you don't see a whole lot of knockoff X3 cheaper barbells that are out there is because there's a bunch of patents on this. That's why Harambe has a different kind of design to it. Uh, the one that's closest though, that's apparently still, you know, not getting, getting by the patents would be the Jay Bryant bar. I do have that. I actually gave it to my nephew. He's using it. I featured that in some previous videos. I've been saying for some time, that's like the cheapest, closest knockoff you can find. Not nearly, again, as good as quality. The knurling is not there. If you're going to deadlift heavy in that, it's not going to stick in your hand like this. It has this kind of uh, fabric in the middle that I said kind of hangs a bit low. I didn't like that, but some of you guys gave me some sort of recommendation where if you actually kind of curl that up a little bit, it shortens it. So that would be the closest comparable functional bar to use to the X3 would be the J Bryant bar. 
They have a short one, they also have a longer bar, so it's a little bit more money, but their baseline shorter bar is only $35, so that's, you can't really beat that. I do still have to mention the Instar bar, again, fairly affordable, only $50. A lot of you guys use this with some uh, carabiner clips, so I'll link that down below. I just don't like the switching in and out of carabiner clips. I also just like a shorter bar, so my own personal preference. And then as I was getting some background footage, guys, for this video, this bar came to my attention on Amazon. I'll link it. It's really cheap. It's got some loop style action going on. You can make it shorter or longer. You can do a bunch of stuff with it. However, you know, you start going cheap, like I was saying, this is some potential issues that can start arising. So up to you guys, if you want to take that chance. Now, foot plates get to be really the trickiest thing. You wouldn't think this would be the hardest thing to find, but I'm finding the foot plates are really the hardest thing. Uh, shameless plug, I do sell foot plates, uh, just boards really on my website. If you guys are curious, my neighbor Mac makes them. In fact, right now he was just making these. I didn't even know he was gonna make them. Uh, it's trying to price them somewhat competitively, but these do take them a decent amount of time. So you could certainly DIY this out of some good quality wood if you know someone who's good with woodworking and you know it's lacquering and making it kind of look nice. So you can do something like that. That. The other big thing that people were doing, and I, I think I mentioned this before in initial video, was doing like a DIY with some sort of cutting board. Some people are using like hockey pucks. I'll link those videos and resources down below as well. Some great videos out there. But when I kind of followed the, the chain, the Amazon chain, how to make the parts, I was kind of getting like the cutting board was like 40 something dollars and that the parts, other parts were like another 10 or 15. So foot plate can actually add up, believe it or not. Otherwise, you can try some other things you got laying around. People do a variety of different things. I've actually shown this a long time ago when I first started hearing, hearing about X3 long before I picked it up was just using my Total Gym squat stand. I just unscrewed the uh, bolts there. A lot of you guys who watch this channel have a Total Gym. You could use this. This actually works out really good for like deadlifting, squatting, curling. The jury's really out though how much it might pre may prematurely wear your bands. Obviously try this at your own risk, but I also like the way it kind of puts, puts your feet for various exercises. So this is definitely still an option. You feel a little bit of the, the band kind of sitting under, underneath, but not too big of a deal. But definitely the cheapest thing that people have been using, and I picked it up, but then I didn't really like it, so I got rid of it, is just the basic stepper on Amazon. That would be the most affordable foot plate that people are kind of more or less using. There's a bunch of different stepper sizes. The smallest one's only $20. The real reason I didn't like it, I know a lot of you guys are using it, is primarily because I noticed when I was doing the various curls, the band tension seemed like it was kind of moving around a little bit. But again, if you're just looking to try some deadlifts, try some squats, overhead pressing, and just getting a feel for it, it's kind of hard to beat that $20. The other thing that would be somewhat concerning to me is just like with this Total Gym Squat Sand is if the bands are gonna prematurely get kind of get warm. I also noticed by standing on it, you can kind of get the bands kind of stuck to one position. So one side might be a little more tight versus another. But then there is certainly a question that's worth noting, which is how much do you really even need a foot plate? Uh, I gave my nephew the, the Jay Bryant bar and he's been using that no problem. He loves it. And then the other week, over the weekend, I brought my mini Mac home. We were working out with that thing. He said like, yeah, it does make a difference. I can see just how solid you feel, you know, doing things like curls and presses, but he really wasn't doing any deadlifts or squats with the foot plate. So if you're thinking of picking up one of these systems and maybe if for people that say like, they don't even want to touch squats or deadlifts because they have like a bad back or whatever, then you might not even need the foot plate. Honestly, doing curls with the bar probably suffices. It is when you're going super heavy, when you're kind of pulling a lot of weight, with a lot of band tension putting unnecessary stress on your ankles and feet that doesn't feel as comfortable. So really to wrap it up guys, I think if you wanted to go super cheap and you're looking to really do a budget friendly equivalent to an exterior Harambe type setup just to kind of feel what it feels like, get the overall benefits from using it, the J. Bryant bar at $35, the stepper at like $20, and you're talking like the cheapest somehow band set at like $30, you're looking at under $100 to kind of try this system out. So if that interests you, I will link it down below in that Amazon store, but definitely let me know guys if there's any other things I didn't think about. Definitely that DIY foot plate option, check that down below if you guys wanna find out some other resources there. I'll link those other uh, YouTube videos that other people made, which are great, down below in the description box. But most, again, most importantly guys, if there's something else I'm missing, definitely drop it down below because this is just what I know. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.